channel and if it looks like I'm wearing the same shirt as the last video it's probably because I am and I'm filming a bunch of videos today so get excited hopefully all of them will be fine and they'll upload as soon as possible so you can see them but what I'm gonna be doing today is hopefully a faster way that you can learn how to curl your hair because I do this sometimes um, when I'm kind of like on the rush and sometimes I feel like it looks a lot better than my last curling hair video because that one um, not as like kind of messily done I'm sorry the lighting changes in here because I'm filming in front of the, the uh, what's called a uh, window and it was like raining yesterday now it's just really cloudy and the Sun is confused so I'm sorry if that's like weird or now but I'm just gonna go ahead and get started the products I'm gonna be using are pretty much the same as my last video so go ahead and check that out I'm gonna be using this Garnet Fructis sleek and shine spray hair tie which I'm gonna go get in a second and then a really hot hot tools whoa don't want to burn yourself because it's hot so I have this new one I'm really excited about because it is a one and a half inch I know in my last video I said it was a one and a half inch but it was just one inch Wow Lauren you're so great at measuring but no it was just one inch and I'm really excited about this because I like the thicker curls that it gives off with this one so it's at about like 330 for the heat and it just like makes your hair so shiny with this um, curler so I'm gonna go ahead and get started so also forgot to mention you're also gonna want a kind of like clip um, really just for whatever you can find I'm gonna first take a hair tie and that's what's going to obviously secure my hair I really hope I'm in focus for this whole video because I'll really suck if I wasn't so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in a ponytail and kind of like to do it in the middle of my head um, like lengthwise because it probably will I'm just gonna go ahead and you're gonna split your hair into two you don't have to do this if your hair is pretty thin just really I just usually like to do two sections like so so I'm gonna take this hair that I'm not using right now put it on top and look really weird for the rest of the video so I'm gonna take this clip right here you just kind of pretty much just want to clip it out of the way so you have the bottom half to work with so doing this method of putting in a ponytail first um, just helps it to kind of go by faster so that way you're not exactly curling your whole head So um, what I did was I wrapped my hair around the barrel going away from my face I'll definitely show you a couple of times what it looks like just to make sure that you know And I did hold it in my hand if you want like a more in-depth curling um, video I do talk about it all in my other curling video here on my channel so I'm gonna put the barrel behind I'm gonna wrap it around a couple of times, let it wait there for a little bit. And you just wanna hold it there until it is hot by the touch. You don't wanna to touch the barrel, you wanna to touch where your hair is on the barrel because that could be really bad if you touch it. If you wanna see this makeup look that I just did, I just filmed it so. It's probably already on my channel if you want to see what it's like so I'm gonna go ahead and curl the full bottom layer of my head that I have like put down and then I'll start filming again when I get to the top all right and now that I'm done with the like full ponytail or whatever um, it's just gonna kind of look like this it's very uh, just kind of loosely done as you can tell I'm gonna go ahead and spray just to make sure I have this top layer sprayed a little bit and kind of scrunch up then all you're gonna do is kind of just wait a little bit for it to cool you're just gonna let your hair down like this let your hair down girl you're just gonna have it like this and yes like I said it's a lot more messy um, and not exactly like super curled so now you're just gonna take the time to go through um, a couple of the pieces and you can see that a lot of the curl and like the body is in the bottom of the hair good now you're just gonna go through and do like three sections on each side just to make sure that it is like curly a little bit more towards the top um, because that part was in the ponytail then you go ahead and let it go and then pick up your next second section for the side just like this there we go and then we'll do one more 
right here on this side. Like I said, you'll just do three sections. And that is the last one on this side. You can see it's just very like messily done, but it still looks really cute and good for pictures. I'll try and insert maybe some pictures that I've worn this kind of like messier curling method if you guys want to see that. But yeah, so you're just doing this. Once again, this is my first section on this left side. You're gonna do one more kind of towards the middle. You can do a thick section if you want. Um, I just do this size, so I'm gonna do this. And then kind of hold it just a little bit. Now you'll probably be at the point where you're kind of at your bangs or whatever you have towards the front of your head. And then you'll just kind of curl it like normal. Sometimes I like to go like this. I don't know why, but I feel like it helps sometimes. And then you just kind of shake it out like this. And the last step is to just take your hairspray once again. And I like to take it up like this and let my hair fall down. It kind of gives it a little bit more volume. You also want to hold the hairspray not up, but kind of down so it gets like underneath um, the layers of your hair. So like this, like this. And you can just tell like, that added like a lot of volume. Okay, it looks kind of crazy right now. But it just kind of adds a little bit more volume to your hair. Like so. You're just gonna kind of shake it out. And I'll kind of show you guys a more in detail shot of my hair. So as you can see, it's just like a lot more wavy. Um, my hair, or my curler did kind of turn off at some points. So there are like a little bit like straighter um, pieces so if I was going somewhere that I needed to like for sure have it curled completely I would just like touch it up again once more um, but I think you guys get the like idea of it this is the final curled hair look let me know if you liked it by giving this video a thumbs up yeah and also subscribe down below if you haven't I have a couple of cool videos coming up and I'm actually like not really partnering, but like doing a video for a really cool hair company that also uses a tool like this. So stay tuned for that. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.